Hi, welcome to the first of our Bonsai by Design instructional videos. I'm going to try and tackle some of the questions that we get asked a lot as a business. Um, first one, Chinese elm. This is probably the most popular bonsai tree. Um, pretty much everybody I've ever spoken to is first bonsai tree. And it certainly was mine. In fact, I had two or three from memory. <coughs> um, but as I was 18 then, I been a little while. Quite often people get Chinese elms, uh, had them for a while and this is what I get presented with, a picture of a tree that looks something like this, um, usually accompanied by the words help or something very similar. Um, so I'm just going to go through a set of quick and easy steps on how to get your Chinese elm from this back to this. First things first, this particular one has leaves on so that's a good start and looks like there's still some life in it but to double check take your thumbnail scrape off a little piece of bark. If the main colour underneath, I don't know if you can see that in the video, is green then your tree is still alive. If it's brown there's a good chance it's dead. The good news is that Chinese elms are in general pretty indestructible so um, unless you've set fire to it or chucked it out of a two-story window chances are it's probably rescuable. So what we need to do first of all ensure where you keep the Chinese elm is fairly temperature stable so windowsills with direct sun are not great um, anywhere near a radiator is not great um, a cold window sill, so somewhere where overnight the temperature drops a lot, you know, as, as stable a temperature as you can find. Um, so that's the first rule of thumb. So when your tree is like this, what you need to do is get as much moisture as possible to the centre of the root ball because nine times out of ten, the issue with this is that although it's being watered, it maybe is being watered from the top and the water's not soaking into the root ball properly or it's being misted or given a teaspoon of water a day or not watered for a week at a time so you need to make sure that the water gets right to the center of the root ball the way to do this stand the tree in a tray or sink or whatever fill with water i'm doing this in an old paint tray that i've cleaned out um, but obviously you can if you're at home you can stand it in the sink or wherever it needs to be. So this tray isn't particularly isn't quite deep enough but hopefully you can see that that is filled there we go. that's filled to close to the edge of the, of the top of the pot. Um, you can even go so it's spilling over a little bit into the um, soil itself. Now leave it. A good 10 minutes go and have a cup of tea or a top of whiskey or a pint whichever is your favourite. <coughs> leave the tree. So when you come back the water will have been soaked up into the root ball um, making sure it's soaked right to the very centre. So now remove, set the tree to drain somewhere um, Now that process should be repeated once every couple of days um, or when the soil looks dry. Um, and if you keep up that regime, what you'll start to see is this. Lots of new shoots. This tree two weeks ago looked very like this one. But now you can see there's lots of new growth coming and uh, before long it will be back to this. So, and that's what we want. So, that's really disaster recovery for Chinese elms. My intention is to do um, a selection of these videos based on questions that we get asked. So, if, if you watch this on YouTube, please leave me a comment. If there's something else you want to know, um, we'll do our best to tackle it. And obviously, the more people ask for the same thing, 
um, the more chance there is of that video being produced. So thank you very much for watching and uh, I look forward to doing the next one. Cheers.